three-year-olds putting on one of those hats, trying to throw them in the air, but they don't have any coordination yet. <laughs> B.O. stains underneath oh, the armpits. No, no, it's got some other filth spilt on there. <laughs> Hair with bits of skull hanging off it, no, getting no, flogged. No, no. What? No. You just said there was Where a battle. Are you that? Hey, 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 podcast kittens, it's Kathy Gadda. Oh, Lady Beer coming at you with another contraband flower stashing installment of Cat, Cat with Beer. What's going on with you, my dear? Oh, a lot of things are going on with me right now, but I know with you, you're going to go to the US soon. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm happy days, uh-huh. dear friends. Uh, yeah, we're a baby beard. We're performing in Boston, at Anime Boston, Woo-hoo. on March the 29, 30, 31. So if you're anywhere near Boston, or even if you're not and you feel like a trip, come on over to Anime Boston. And I should announce as well, we're also coming to Australia. Australia too, our middle of the year. End of January, not January, end of June, start of July. Australia and the United States. Bitty bang, bitty boom. How are you, my friend? What's going on I'm with you? I'm good. I'm looking. Is my, is my hair still the same? You yes. look lovely. Fun. Thank you. I got to tell you, these 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 curly McPlatt things mm-hmm. are really nice. Thank little you. Platt ring. It's very impressive. Platt ring. Exactly. I thought I, I turned to German down a little bit and moved that up. Also, this time our microphone cables are matching our dresses magically. Yeah, look at that. We ha- I have a b- black dress with a black cable and you have a red dress with a red cable. This has worked out perfectly. Fantastic. This is bananas. What are we talking about today? Today we're talking about graduating in uh, Japan. It's a big deal because uh, everything ends and something new starts and a lot of people cry. Graduate. That's Radio correct. Eight. Yes, radiation. Um, a lot of people cry. Yeah, people love crying, don't they? <laughs> the purge of emotion. It's um, good. There's some serious stories I heard about yeah, university kids or um, kids in like high school when they're graduating, they have like a big cry and like, like oh, even the boys are crying. It's like, why? It's like, well, once we join a company, we'll not be able to hang out anymore. <sighs> now you used to like hang out with the people you love, have a bit of free time, maybe go to the conveni, get some snacks, that kind of stuff. But that's over because work life in Japan can be very hard. So for wow. a lot of them, it's that finishing off those youthful days and that freedom and going into work life is sometimes a really big deal. Isn't it interesting? From my perspective, when I left school and entered the workplace, that was entering freedom from yes. an establishment of, right? uh, of imprisonment, essentially. Mm-hmm. But here it's the other way around. They look at school and the rigidity of school and how, at, with Japan, you're at school every freaking day. Saturdays, Sundays, you're doing your activities. It used that. to be Sundays. I think they took Sundays out, but oh, now okay. everyone goes to cram school on Sundays. Every, so. Just every single mother flipping day you're at it and then you graduate and everyone's like now I don't have freedom now at the end of that what I a think it depends on how rough the companies were at the days and stuff like that and you still probably had like club activities and stuff and all of that is then unfortunately over do a lot of people in Japan still get the job in the company and then stay there for their entire life I think a lot of people still have those kind of companies there's a lot of comp- the traditional companies still do this when you go in you kind of stay as long as you can with them and you work your way up to the top newer companies might allow people to change but it's still frowned upon in japan to change jobs too often so the longer you can stay with one company the better let's talk about yes graduation when, graduate, when you graduate from freedom allegedly well, let's talk about it there's graduation for everything there's graduation for kindergarten university there is so they love a good graduate yeah. it's never just all right goodbye that was fun it's always a ceremony. It's a yeah. big deal. Even kindergarten graduations, the kids but like they craft all some flowers and they decorate the entire classroom. <laughs> they make a full celebration out of it, which is lovely. It's lovely. You know, when do you ever get to craft flowers and stick them on the door nowadays anymore? Those days are over. <laughs> kindergarten graduation. Those four year olds putting on one of those hats. One of those mortarboard hats and try to throw them in the air, but they don't have any coordination yet. So I don't think they're it. throwing them in the air, but like it's it's definitely they sometimes for for a graduation for like elementary school and kindergarten they do like a bridge with people, like a little oh, what is it called? I think nice. like a little flower road. So each oh, nice. so you all do. Hold on, you you kind of all put your fingers to so yeah like this. Yeah. Put that all together and then the kids walk through that and you like create an endless bridge because once you reach the end, you stand and you, you become that bridge for yeah. someone else until everyone has gone through it. I've had it, once, you had it a, once. I've had it as a teacher. Oh. When when my, my term was over teaching, the kids did that for me. And at, I kid you not, it's it turns on the waterworks. I don't know what it is. It just makes you want to cry. It's uh. cry me to your magic. But cry me a river. But... <laughs> it was adorable to be honest it was That's adorable lovely. they know the power of the flower road that they made with their arms i don't know what that is some something psychological in there probably to make us happy anyways 
Now we're going to a little elder, yep. older. Yep, 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 yep. And yep. high school, there's something else. You don't do this one anymore. We let other people walk through. There is a couple of other cool things for the graduation ceremonies from high school because that is the last time you will be wearing ah. a school uniform. The uniform. March is the season of graduation, by the way, yes. friends. That's why we're talking about it mm-hmm. at this moment. So it is actually right now, this one goes up in March. So you will probably actually see quite a lot about graduating. Mm-hmm. Something ends and something new starts. And it's the part of like letting something go and starting something new. As the caterpillar cocoons up to emerge a beautiful butterfly. Yes. As the four-year-old drops his mortarboard and walks (laughs) through a human archway, the high schooler throwing away the shackles of their school uniform, which was actually Uniform of Freedom, as it turns out, mm. has a series of distinct traditions. Tell us about them, Kathy Kat. There is one which is called the second button this from so, the top. This is absurd. Okay, okay, okay. This is so brilliant. All right, let's do it. So this is almost a, you might find out um, if, for example, a senpai is graduating, they will find out if the third year is graduating. They will find out if they were actually popular with the girls in their class, or, or, or in with the girls maybe the the years the junior girls, or, because one of those girls might come up and ask the senpai, "Could I have your second bottom from the top?" So on your shirt or your blazer, your shirt. Well, ideally on the shirt. Shirt. The blazer, the, the buttons are quite low because the shirt button, the second button, is the closest to the heart. <laughs> I just want to say, mm-hmm. clearly a female came up with this concept. Yes. I she, want the actually, button yes. that's closest to his heart because yes. that will represent emotion and eternal dedication yes. from him to me. All right, so she's going to take the button closest to his heart. Yes. And now, so he just goes home with his chest hair popping out all over the place? <laughs> well, first of all, I don't think there's that much chest hair to pop out because they're just high school students. No offense there. But this was actually thought up in a manga in the 1970s, uh, a girl's manga. <sighs> and and people picked it up because they're like, that's actually kind of cute. Because that shirt, they will have been wearing all those free years, unless they had a big growth spurt. They will have been wearing maybe two or three years during high school. So that button was with them. Them near their heart. Every hearts. day, oh, every come day, get the near heart. There is the romance, romance there. Oh, That's the female romance. <laughs> um, that same shirt, if he's worn the same, you know, a handful of shirts every mm-hmm. day for five years or something, probably big B.O. stains underneath oh, the armpits. No, no, that's why no one asks for the probably shirt. Probably uh, got some <laughs> other filth spilt on there. <laughs> blood from that time. He got a blood nose in class. It's a disgusting item. I don't think anyone wants and the shirt of that like, senpai. Oh, but it represents his heart it's to me. It's close to his heart. It's, it, that's female robots. Come on. So, 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 so. <laughs> but there's a couple of mangas that actually took this further yep. uh, but there is a manga in which all the girls battle for the second button from the top it's from literally the a battle it's a bloodbath it's there's female gore just endlessly everywhere hair with bits of skull hanging off it no, getting no, flung no, across no, the class no, no. you just said there was Why a battle I, clearly, I'm approaching this whole thing like a man. You're approaching clearly, this like a lady this beard, is, I this think. Is the, okay, tell us about <laughs> the ladies' approach to this battle, this violenceless battle. Well, there's either battles for the second button from the top, then there's the, you know, you ask for it. It's not something that you just get giving. Okay. And there's a, the really popular boys in manga are the ones who actually have stashed some buttons away and just give out the buttons. Oh, really? When they're like, oh, yeah, sure, you can have this button. It's probably not the second button from the top, but hey, uh, they're prepared. Hey, that it's like Valentine's chocolate that dude's right? a stud chicks dig scars you know what i'm saying what? that's why you gotta did, how did you get there how no you, you, gotta, you just gotta rip the button off your skin you're like that's why the skin? About. you gotta leave yourself a button scar why is your button on your skin well, because chicks dig scars so you no. gotta make sure that you got some scars no. otherwise there's no point you're in ruining it. the romance stop it Listen, I was told there'd be a battle, and every time I bring up some blood or some violence or some gore, I get met with this. Hmm, no, not it's not romantic. Right. Skulls, the scalp's not romantic. We're gonna call this episode <gasps> "Lady Beard Ruins Lives." Lady <laughs> Beard 
ruins the second button from the top. Uh, okay, <laughs> I thought actually that was a kind of cute costume, but that's <laughs> lovely. It's adorable. <laughs> a some... lady is being silly, ladies and gentlemen. Do we get no? And others, other okay. friends. A friend of mine, her friend asked for their favorite senpai second button from the top when she was graduating and he was graduating. For that's a nice way to fi- finally realize. Oh, that that girl actually liked me. Like it's good to know. Like. Liked you enough to get the button, unless you have someone who goes around collecting all the buttons. Don't do that. Um, and when <laughs> you could collect all the buttons and then resell them, yeah. Oh, the that's the way to there, do just it. Label it. Who's it from? Yeah. But what if you mistake the buttons? Where's the well, authenticity in that? Now here you have a but problem with counterfeiting, not, don't you? What if this is not the button from Makoto Senpai? Oh, I only want the button from Makoto Senpai. Oh well, what about if I've just you know I just went down to the store and I bought a shirt and <gasps> I took off all the buttons from it and <gasps> maybe one of them is Makoto Senpai. You could do a lottery system. That is love button fraud. That is That's exactly I'm what it is. Gasping at you. <laughs> That's what little uh, Tashihiro did. That's not a real name. Takahiro <laughs> did. That's little Takahiro. Hero can't be trusted. Anyways, so actually, story from that true story though for a friend, a friend of mine. Um, she went and actually talked with her senpai and said, "Hey, can I have the second button from the top from you for her a big step?" And he was like, "Sorry, that one's already gone." Oh, you can have the third one. <laughs> oh my goodness! So she got the third button from the top. Consolation prize. <laughs> so who got the second prize. button? Who knows. So she didn't find out? She never found out. Someone else made off with her button. Wait, (gasps) I thought this would be a story of Yandere revenge Mm. when she would find the second button claimer and go and bring her life crashing to the ground through all kinds of scheming, subversive Machiavellian means to get hold of that second button and purge her enemies in love. No! That should be the next manga. You should... We could should commission someone for that. That's a new one. Oh, I could buy my own mega cool Yandere beard. Yeah. Maybe I will. I mean, it's a good memory of those days, I guess, as yeah, well. If you have like a little case of like things you remember, you're like, oh yeah, remember when I went with that senpai, I got the same button from the top, you know, huh? or the third one apparently. I mean, it's something to remember. That's lovely. Some school uniforms don't have buttons, so they might just give you their tie. Oh, uh, their tie. They can offer oh. an entire tie. Ties are really quite expensive. That would be mm. quite, you'd be giving away a lot of value when throwing away a tie. Exactly. Especially if uh, um, you had like a younger you would... sibling, because probably, he's probably going to wear your tie after you. Oh, I might have to buy a new tie for the younger sibling. buy a new sibling. tie. Mom won't like that. No, oh, I have to get a new oh, tie. My God. Oh. Why did you lose your tie? Takahiro gave away his tie. Oh. What am I going to do for Little Mahoro? That's not a name either. I'm just making up names You're that ain't names. You're making names that don't exist in Japan. I am so little, sorry. Little Dodecahedron. I, am, I oh, apologize oh, for Ladybird's oh, name giving oh. here in advance. This is generally speaking a noise that I find mothers make. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Since Ladybird's being clothing. very sarcastic about all this. I'm very I, sorry. I know, right? Since we are in clothing, there's certain um, clothing for graduating that you can only wear yes. on graduation for yes. for like higher levels. So university graduation is when people obviously don't have school uniforms, so they can't wear school uniforms on graduation. That's right. Instead, that's a custom that I love seeing. People will graduate in traditional Japanese yeah. gear. Yeah. Mainly, um, that was apparently established during the Meiji period, and it's called a hakama. Mm. So it's ho- the top of it is a kimono, and the button of it is like bit like trousers so it allowed for the women who were then finally allowed to study and go to university ah. to have more freedom of movement because sitting in a kimono <gasps> that's a tough one so the hakama gives you a little bit more freedom of movement and so they were allowed to study together with the boys so a lot of girls still wear that for graduation sitting down Nowadays. in a kimono is a total pain in the bum isn't it it's, it's yes kimono just the tying and everything is very difficult so the hakama actually allowed girls to have that freedom of like being out without being so restricted physically all the time so you leave the freedom of school and then you enter the freedom of pants. I mean, that, I can't, I lost that now. I'm not quite sure Lady how that Beard reg- ruins lives. <laughs> um, but wh- how did this tradition begin, Kathy Cat? So that, it started in the Meiji period. So it originated from cord ladies' uniforms. Ah, uh, I see. Um, and it made them more functional because they had now the freedom of movement. Mm. Like after the war ended, they actually, the hakama, wearing hakama for universities, that kind of stopped. Oh, well, that's so, a shame. You know, it was like a thing before that. But uh, in 1987, there was a popular film, which was called, uh, <laughs> like, let me read that. Haikara, Haikara-san ga toru. Ah, okay. 
Haikara san ga toru. So it's either here comes Miss Modern or like here comes Miss Haikara because she was like um, wearing that style. And it came out, several university students attended their graduation ceremony wearing the hakama again. Okay. Um, that was triggered by an idol called Yoko Mina Mino. Mina oh! Mino. Nani? So Yoko Minamino was the girl in that film that Yoko kind of Minamino. populated it and people started copying it. Yoko Minamino. To like I bring see. that back. Okay. All right. And more and more students started doing that. So it kind of became a trend again. I see. Hang Which on. It's a good idea. It's like, hey, let's bring back traditional dress. I think you have that with a lot of cultural things where you first go, ah, oh, traditional dress, goodbye. Mm. And then, you know, after a couple of years, you're like, you know what? That's actually kind of nice. We had that with the Oktoberfest in Germany. Oh, yeah? For a time, no one really wanted to wear the traditional gear. And now it became a big trend. And then they started having different styles and stuff. Oh, is that right? So similarly in Japan, I guess, it was like, first, nah, let's not do that. And then, ah, it's actually kind of nice. Let's at least bring that back for tra- for graduation. Oh. So oh, It's like at the moment of the Western world, we brought back that gross little moustache that they <laughs> used to have in like the 70s and 80s and whatnot. <laughs> but now it's back. Top Ground Maverick. Mm. I probably shouldn't have called it disgusting. So I'm going to get in all kinds of trouble <laughs> for that. Your lady beard. I apologize to, judge any to anyone who are offended with my mustache you comment. You literally have beard in your name. D- <laughs> Not mustache. <laughs> my, dear friend, my dear friend Joey has one of those. It's perfect because he's a cop and he has no hair, but he has that <laughs> mustache. <laughs> perfect. <gasps> and he's Jack, this Jack policeman with a little mustache. It's brilliant. It's just lady mustache and lady beard. Oh my God. Uh, so, there, so we have a good thing to see if you how lucky to be around tokyo station in march have a look out mm. tokyo station in march a lot of students will go there just to take pictures in front of tokyo station of like i graduated they might not even have gone to university there but a lot of university students will just go there in march take great pictures in much because playing tokyo station a photo shoot yeah. this chick in the movie we got a photo of her here she's wearing her oh sorry how do i pronounce it hakama, ha- hakama and she's got a kendo shinai over her shoulder and a mm. bicycle yeah that was kind of um this special idol uh what was her name again mino-chan Yes, Mina, Mina Mino. Mina Mino. Mina Mino was also like a little bit of a rebel for oh, her days. Oh. oh, look at her. She has like the sword. Oh. She battles not only girls, she also battles guys. It's not real oh. sword, it's like a wooden. It's a shinai. It's a shinai. kendo shinai. It's like a kendo shinai sword. But also, she oh, allowed herself to scandalous. It's a bit scandalous. I hope we can keep this up on YouTube. She was allowed to ride a bicycle. What? She rode a bicycle. A what? As a woman. In the Hakama. I am outraged. <laughs> Not exactly. About she to became this quickly, table through a window. Yeah. I outraged. Those kind of like progressive ways made her also so popular because she was pushing the envelope a little bit with those kind of things. I see. So. Back in those days, women no. plus bicycles, bicycles didn't go together. Bicycles in a Hakama. Well, it's a good thing <laughs> you've got your pants on because otherwise that'd be a disaster on yeah. the old bikey bike. Yeah, but yeah, that, that's true. She was new. She was active. She was fun. She was not just fighting with girls. She also could fight with men. So what a legend. Her. She, she could fight with men f- with the shinai and then fight with women for a button. She could do everything. <laughs> exactly. She was an equal opportunity combatant. What Reminds a legend. Reminds me a little bit of like Ran Mahaf, that kind of oh, like, yeah. you know, you, 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 you girl, but you also can fight that kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. thing. And that's it. Mulan. Then we have, now we have the clothes. We have the, we have the take homes, which is the buttons. We have the clothes, which is, for example, the graduation clothes. And we have the graduation song. Oh, the graduation songs. Yes, very important. So uh, there's a lot of famous songs. And one is the song that we hear every time when the store closes. Have a sing, Kathy. Dun, 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 Metal version now. Oh, good things bright and wonderful. The Lord God made them all. Isn't that that hymn? I don't know if that's the It's a hymn, isn't it? For all lang syne, my dear, for all lang syne. I think in Japanese it's called Hotaru no Hikari. Can you like just metal it up? Get out of my store. Exactly. It literally means get out of my store. Duck we out. get it. We get it at stores. We get it at station. Anywhere where the people are. Usually that song it was played to like tell you, we're closed now. Please go. So yeah, in China, that's the same uh, purpose is fulfilled by uh, Home Time by Kenny G. You know that song? That one. Every shopping mall in China, they play that song at Home Time. Oh my that's god! Brilliant. Oh my, get out! Do something else, apparently. So All Lang Syne is get is played, and the next one is Ao Gebashi to. 
尊しい。Generally, there's also a lot of more less traditional and more popular songs that you can look up in your own time. One is Sotsugyo. Shashin,、oh! so the graduation picture、ah, by、good. Matsutoya Yumi.、Uh, Yomi, of Yumi. course, then there's Kiseki by Green,、oh, green. <laughs> Sakura by Moriyama Sa- Naotara, Sakura, Sakura. and Sakura no Amebe Hatsunemiku.、Oh. Oh, very popular artist, that one. Generally, stuff that has the word Sakura in it tends、yeah. to be a graduation song. Well, also, so- March is the time where the Sakuras bloom, isn't it?、So、exactly. It makes perfect sense, doesn't it? The chair, and you see that in like, pretty much every anime when they、mm. start the school year or the university. First year, it's usually the cherry blossoms blooming, or they're saying goodbye, and it's the cherry blossoms bloom. So it's also, I think, it also makes the image of the cherry blossoms so important, so strong in Japan because it's when they bloom. Yeah, good point. When they bloom, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. The sakura. Yeah, good point. It's, it's the end thing, of something. It's, it's the, the end of, something of winter.、Oh, it's the beginning, new beginnings, of life,、yeah. new life. The end of school. It the end of、beautiful. your freedom of school. The beauty of your enslavement in the workplace begins. Oof,、mm-hmm. Oh, damn, none of that, please. There are also more funny other things for graduations that are recently popular.、Uh, for example, one thing that trended, that's trended on X, formerly known as Twitter, was the graduation board. So,、uh, this is amazing. A lot of schools still use those chalkboards. Yep, yep, yep. A blackboard, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're allowed to call it. Anymore, that, well, that's why I tried to talk around it. The one that black you put chalk on, as opposed to the one that white and you do text on it. Exactly,、know? it's not the squishy words. Like the 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 boards with chalk is the one that we're talking about. On the day of graduations, teachers will usually write a message and they decorate it as、oh. a surprise for the students. Those ones can get very elaborate. We have some pictures here in our、oh. script, which is literally like a full-on Kiki's delivery art thing or a Demon Slayer artwork、yeah. that looks like it's too bad, too. Pretty to just have it on the board. Incredible works of art.、Mm. And、I'm, here's my question: Did one person do these, or did everyone do them together? We don't. Well, we don't know, right? Whether it might have been either the teacher, or sometimes it's students coming、teacher. together to make it. Yeah. So you could have been like for six years. You could have known this is、uh, Mr. Matheson, my physics teacher. And then on the last day of school, or before pulled, the last day of school, he stays in all night and he draws this beautiful piece of art on the board, and everyone's like. Well, holy moly! I didn't know he could do that. Yep, you you generally have a homeroom teacher. So even though you have lots of different classes, you have one teacher is kind of in charge of the class.、Oh, I see. And、uh, that homeroom teacher is probably going to be the one who does that because that's the one who has, does like has the closest connection to you guys, handles maybe events and such. So you have that one teacher who will maybe stay from three to eight hours, maybe stay overnight to create you a beautiful、oh, picture to send you on your way. Dude, that is dedication. That is awesome. And I awesome. bet the kids don't appreciate it. I bet they're like, "Hmm, you give me a picture." I could do better for you. I guess like the love what I experienced when I was teaching in schools is like the love between and the, when I also did exchanges to high schools. Depending on the schools, there's a really nice connection between the teachers and、so、the students. Really? really, it's like a lot of like there's a lot of respect there. There's a lot of like looking after each other. I think they got like school down to at least the schools I've seen. It got school down very well of like that communal support and such. And、um, when I was at school, a teacher had to be awesome for us to. Just not hate him. Yeah,、you know? that's yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's why being a teacher any anywhere else in the world is a tough job, tough job. But Japan, they seem revered somewhat. Well, that's but good. But then also、that's、the、good. teachers don't get summer holidays off like in other countries. Oh man, they、mate. actually stay in in case there's club activities or extra things to do. Yeah, it's a hard job being a teacher in Japan. It's a、mm. tough freaking job. It's a tough job, mate. Now we're we're moving away again from school to university. Yep. And now we're going to one funny thing. So. Um, the University of Tokyo is is famous, but also is the University of Kyoto. They're the two best said to be best universities in all of Japan. They, you know, the the amount of publications they get done, of serious studies, the things how they change the world, amazing. But graduation at Kyoto University is a bit crazy. <laughs> This renowned, highly prestigious, super hard to get in university. Goes a bit crazy during graduation. <laughs> Tell us about it, Katika. All right, they have the cosplay graduation ceremony, and I do not mean dressing up as Moi Moi Kyun Kyun maid. People dress crazy. People dress as all kinds、But、of all kinds 
lots of very crazy. interesting things here. Uh, first example here: a pair of dudes with chikawas on their faces. Yeah, apparently this this thing starts in the 1980s. Again, love what love the 80s. Apparently they were like, let's break out, yeah, bring this, some was the freedom. Bubble, wasn't it? it? Was the bubble? So it was that the time too. for it, I Things, guess, for yeah. shenanigans. Shenanigans. Um, we have one here. Someone's dressed as President Trump. Yep. This is all <laughs> seen as part. They allowed to do it as part of academic freedom. I love it. We have the greatest it's graduation a in the history of graduations. Where we do Kyoto University, that great university. It's the greatest university you've ever seen. The greatest graduation you've ever seen in your life. It's amazing. Students Make are allowed to do it. Graduation great again. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> So every year, a large number of graduates gather at the venue dressed in any cosplay of their choice, and they are not getting rebuked for that. They're allowed to wear whatever they want. <laughs> can be anything. <laughs> this dude's dressed as Sento-kun, the official character of Nada. He's there with no shirt on and a giant deer head. It's literally just a deer head and what? no shirt on and, and a little up sash. Collecting his collecting certificate. His certificate. <laughs> you go all the way up on stage. The person will thank oh. you and give you your certificate. You receive it with both hands oh. bow while you receive it in front of everyone wearing a deer hat. The dean of the school, a 60-year-old man, needs to give a certificate to a giant shirtless yak. That I is fantastic. Is that just thinking it. that this is such a prestigious university, it's so hard to get into, so hard to study there. But hey, for graduation day, things go absolutely wild. I got to tell you, this is my favorite graduation tradition. So it far. sounds it's fun. Freaking awesome. I did sounds this amazing. So much fun. So much fun. And then lastly, we're going to do a real fun one. This Okinawa is something. Is something else. It is a flower bombing. Flower bombing. Tell us about it, Kathy Cat. I mean, I, I don't know how that. Maybe if you sweat, it sticks to you even more. And maybe I have no idea. That's, flour, people throw as flour in, on as each, in each other for the graduation. White powder used for baking. Flour. Because yes. it's different. It's not flour. Yeah, you, you wish it was flour. It's not flour. It's not flour. It's flour. It's flour. So, it's so <laughs> these it, kids just peg and flour at each other. It used to be used apparently. So, at least the rumor how it started is it was a substance. Substitute for confetti, uh, which would make more sense. It's probably sense. not as bad for cleaning, but hey. Really? Oh, but now there's dough everywhere with flour. You get a bit wet, turns into dough. Yeah, Surely that makes flour definitely worse than confetti. Oh, is it 100% worse? <laughs> Who came yeah, up with this plan? I have no idea. But anyway, we have a picture here of some young girls just throwing flour at each other, which is freaking cool. I have flour thrown in my face during a wrestling match once. Oh, wait. How did that feel? Well, it just feels like a bunch of soft something hitting your face. Well, what but if you breathe that it in? It makes it hard to breathe after yeah. because you cough a lot. And then if you're sweaty yeah you got bits of bread stuck to your face now and everything oh. bread everywhere Oof. the ring is all dirty yeah yeah oh, you have to man. vacuum clean the ring I afterwards. don't want to be the cool I just got to clean that one up but but the school's frowned upon this flower bombing uh -huh. which is reasonable because I, I mean like after all that that's going to be <laughs> really bread, really bread hard to clean everywhere so they banned the sale of flour on graduation day and what the kids started doing is they would organize to have their core highs buy flour weeks in advance and then hide it in their houses and then on graduation day bring it to senpai's sneaky sneaky give it over to senpai so that he could do some flower bombing yep that is some <laughs> organization my friends contraband flower smuggling <laughs> between the students so for the flower bombing i love it so much this yeah the cosplay of this one are the ones i could really get behind I, i'm a big supporter of this fantastic. tradition fantastic can I, I come in and just throw flour at you one day at the oh show? i'm not cleaning that up so you can throw flour at me if you want i don't sure. mind as, as long as you're cleaning it up i'll, well, I'll we'll, we'll do a flower chuck outside we'll do it as a youtube extra yeah nope. Kathy cat flower bombs ladybeard oh okay that'd be wicked wow okay put it in the comments if you want to see that that'd be sweet wow yes that sounds like a thing i'm gonna have to wash my hair afterwards do you have any funny traditions for like graduating in australia <laughs> australia as the whole nation i don't know um in my city it went school by school so mm -hmm. the schools had their own traditions so ours were we would graffiti and tear up our shirts so <laughs> all your mates would graffiti each other's shirts and we'd rip them all up and whatnot yeah we slash them all up so we have the, the bits of shirt hanging you're off us really yeah. <laughs> you're ripping did. You're ripping your shirts? Yeah, shirts. Graffiti them so you'd like draw all over each ah. other's shirts. And you just rip them, rip the pockets <laughs> off and tear them up and, you know. Because for, for us it was, thank goodness this nightmare is over, you know. Oh. We wanted to desecrate our uniforms, you know. We oh. hated them. Yeah. 
So we want to destroy our uniforms as much as we can. You don't do the trousers because those things are kind of expensive and, you know, so you don't do your trousers. Your blazer are also expensive. Your tie, you probably have to give it to your little brother. But um, And also you could uh. put that around your head and also use it to choke people and slap them in the face with too. So, you know, we do those your, things. Your graduation sounds like the most lady beard well, metal this, thing. This is why with this second button, when you told me there was a battle, I expected some bloodshed. It sounds very metal now. It makes total sense now. I expect a bloodshed, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lady Beard schooling. This is what it was. Bloodshed all day, every day for breakfast, lunch, and tea. And then apparently all rip off your shirts. How about you guys? Do you have a tradition? <laughs> well, first of all, Germany doesn't have school uniforms. We oh, kind of don't. got told True. not to have any sort of uniforms and no. uniformity after certain events in our history. So first of all, no oh. uni- Yeah, we're not allowed uniforms and Germany. That's what it is. Yeah, we used to have them before, and then they. I, there is also a rumor that the sailor outfit, the sailor uniform, yeah. comes actually from Germany, and also we have the backpacks that you get to to school here. Ranzen, yeah, Rantoseru comes yeah. from the German Ranzen. So that's actually a lot of things that Japan still keeps has stopped in Germany after the war. The wow, second one. I didn't know that. Yeah. So we, first of all, we have no school uniforms. Second, we don't really have a graduation ceremony. I remember like literally one of my last university, like school, school things, like a college thing, the graduation ceremony was literally is all just standing out in the hallway awkwardly in little piles. And then the <laughs> teacher would just pass the paper to us saying we've graduated. Really? Yeah, All right, you win, get out. Yeah, so it's like, here, here you go, bye. It's like, like you're just getting a test, but you didn't even sit in a classroom just somewhere out in the hallway, very unceremonious. I didn't really, it wasn't really good, no. When I was on exchange at school in Germany, we accidentally kicked a hole in one of the walls. <laughs> Again, me- metal. You're so metal. <laughs> what is going on? What's the thing about German school that brought back the memory? <laughs> Kicked a hole in the wall by <laughs> This is so, so metal. Oh, I have one more thing to share. Graduation in the University of Chester, though, was amazing. Oh, there yeah. is a cathedral, which is a Chester cathedral, oh, that lovely. they get to rent out only for those graduations. Mm. And we actually have those hats, those oh, graduation good. hats. Oh, good. So that we have those. That's another cool thing. And you actually see, well, at those times, not anymore, apparently, but we sang God Save the Queen. I thought oh, this is the most British thing <laughs> for lovely. graduation to sing God Save the Queen. And then we did the tassel thing. We threw the tassels Good. and then we all collected it again. That's nice. And that was nice. That's a proper graduation. you got to save the king now. Different person to save. Oh, yeah, I guess a different mm. person to mm. save and wish different a long life for. So yeah, that mm. kind of stuff. Yeah. That's lovely. Those were graduation ceremonies in Japan and there's uh, a little example from all over the world, but there is more coming up, especially soon. Is there going to be a very special episode? Oh my goodness. Next just episode is going to be very special. And other friends, just this episode uh-huh. we're doing right now, this mm-hmm. is episode 99 of nine, the no, Cat with Beard episodes. from Japan. Podcast, keep singing. Okay, before we scare everyone off. Which means we next episode is gonna be Cat with Beard episode one. 100. 100, the big honey, there the big is, one zero zero. Amazing, a lot of podcasts never come past episode 50 yeah. or episode 20. Or 10 seems to for Make that or matter. break, yeah, 10. Ah. 20 seems to be make or break and here we are in episode 100 coming up next episode. Next episode, I can't with beer coming out right now. It's very good as we sparring. You cat the cat up, Lady Beer. See ya. See you on the episode 100 with Cat, cat with, with Beer. Bye. 99 bye-byes. 990, choose, choose, choose. Give me your second button! <laughs>